So today I'm going to try something a little bit different and that is a first impressions video. I don't think I've done one of these before in the past, not that I can recall, but yes, I'm going to do one today and we shall see how it goes. So today I'll be giving you my first impression on the Maybelline Volume Express Mascara Pumped Up Colossal. Yes, mouthful. And if you guys have watched any of my makeup tutorials, you will know that I love the sister product to this one, and it is the Colossal Volume Express. This is my all-time favorite mascara. I also like the original. This one is the um, cat eyes one, so it has the curved brush, but the original just has a regular looking mascara brush. And I repurchased this over and over and over again. This is the mascara that I always go back to. I like trying out different ones, but this is my fave. So because I'm apparently obsessed with the other Colossal Mascara, I had to try this one out and I thought it'd be an awesome idea to put it in a video and let you guys know what I think and if it's worth buying and if it's any better or any different from this one. So first things first, I'm going to have to take this out of its package. <laughs> What also really drew me to try this is the bright pink packaging. I think it looks so cool. And I think it's a little bigger. Yes, it is. It's bigger than the original. So the brush, when you open it, has this little bumpy stick. And apparently, this bumpy stick is supposed to help you get more volume and length. But we shall see. And the brush on the top is kind of similar to the original one, where it has more of that domey shape. So yes, I'm excited to try this, shall we? So now that we are super close up on my face, let's try this out. So what I was most curious about is whether or not the mascara formula is the exact same as the um, Colossal. And I really like this. This is one coat and it already is a huge difference. Um, the brush is kind of big but it's not getting on my upper lid, which is good, so it's not too big. So this is one coat right here, and I think it's a huge difference. I actually have a tutorial up on my channel on how to create thicker, longer lashes using this mascara, and in that video, I let one coat partially dry before adding another coat, so I'm just going to do this right now before I add the second coat. Now that that coat is almost dry, I'm going to add a second coat to see if it builds up well. Yeah, it's not bad. It definitely gives you huge lashes, and apparently there's collagen in this. It's definitely a much sturdier wand, though, than other mascaras that I've used, so that really helps, and I think that helps you get a lot of product on your lashes, but you have to be careful because they're clumping together a little bit. Okay, and now for the bottom lashes. The true test. If you can do bottom lashes with a giant brush, then it is okay. You can definitely tell which one has mascara on it, and as you can see, there's a huge difference. This definitely gives you lots of volume. So I'm going to do the other eye now and get back to you. <laughs> so that is my full review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually think I did this eye better than the other one. It's less clumpy. So in conclusion, I feel like I'm reading an essay here. In conclusion, I really do like this mascara. I think partly why I like it so much is because it's the exact same formula as this one, but you do get a different lash effect because of the brush shape. So, depending on what kind of eyelash look you're going for, I would try them out. This one, if you want more of your product on the outside of your lashes, is awesome. If you want more of a regular look, I would go for the original. And if you want something that's kind of extreme all over your lashes, I would go for this one. So it's all up to you and your preference. I really am just obsessed with the packaging, really. I would totally just buy this again to have a bright pink mascara tube. Because <laughs> that's the kind of person I am, I guess. <laughs> So overall, this is a pretty awesome product. I hope this helped out some of you guys who were curious about it or really wanted to try out a new drugstore mascara. I would recommend this one if you were thinking about it. Oh, the price, that's important. I picked this up for $5.99 at Chopper's Drug Mart, which is a Canadian drugstore, and it was on sale. Originally, it is $8.99 or $9.99, depending on where you go. You will definitely be able to find it for cheaper at Target or Walmart. So 
So I would check those two stores out. If you're in the States, this is probably slightly cheaper. If you guys know how much this is in the States, post it down below and then we can help each other out. But my tip for you is to wait for this to go on sale or any drugstore makeup that you want to buy to go on sale because why pay full price? Drugstore mascara and drugstore makeup in general always goes on sale, so hey, why not save a couple bucks? So that is my full review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of video. I don't normally do first impressions, but I really, really want to do one on this mascara. So if you'd like to see more first impression videos in the future, make sure you let me know in the comments down below on what you would like to see, because this was actually kind of fun. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an awesome summer so far, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! My eyelashes are actually almost touching my eyebrows. Maybe if I do this. Uh, I, okay, yeah, nope, nope, nope. That, that was a fail. I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Also, there may be a sneaky giveaway at the end of this video, so if you are curious to see what that is all about, just stick around to the end of the video.